It has just been the most fun season for me. I hope it has been for you too. Um, and I have just thought back about some of our very favorite things. We've shown some really great recipes. We've had some great guests and we've had a lot of giggles and silliness on this set. It has been a ball. And we thought while our cobbler baked that we would show you some of our favorites. Take a look. Hi, welcome to cooking today. Do you see this hunk I've got with me in the kitchen? <laughs> it's my husband, Sam. Isn't that so fun? Hi, babe. Hi, Amy. Here we are in our own kitchen. Thanks for having me on your show. <laughs> well, you're welcome. So glad you came out of your office to join me today. Did you have a cancellation? I did. You're kind of the backup plan. Yeah. We have like this extra little spot downstairs where um, Sam like prepares to barbecue, you know, all this stuff like a little countertop. And I can always tell when you've been down there because there's <laughs> seasoning everywhere. <laughs> when I cook, I make a little mess. It's good, but I love it. The but result, it tastes good, The result it? is great. Right. Okay. We're just, you know that one end of chicken that gets kind of fat and chewy and kind of takes a little longer to cook? We're just kind of pounding out. We pounded so hard that something in the island just crashed. Way to go. <laughs> wow. Mussels. This kind of look like they're living. <laughs> Don't they look kind of squiddish a little bit? Like a larva. Like a larva. These are larva feel feed us. <laughs> Typically, if it says one can, I add two. If it go says, bigger, go home if it theory. says a, a, a teaspoon, go two teaspoons. Like when I send you to the grocery store and I say, get me two cans of diced green, of diced tomatoes with green chilies, and you go to Sam's and get like a if it, case. If it's not going to spoil, hunker down. Buy a bunch, if save your time. If Y2K really happens or you know there's a zombie apocalypse, come to our house because we've got Rotel <laughs> for the masses. <laughs> and Sam is about to get a knife lesson. And this is great little knife skills for anybody. So, we're gonna do a pepper. Let's do it. Okay. Show me how. Notice that it, we have two different knives going here. I have the child, <laughs> child proof knife. <laughs> he has the child <laughs> I mean, you could hack something with that for sure because the blade is sharp, but yes. anyway. Take your knife and cut the very, very top off. You don't want to cut too much of the flesh off. Well, I told you that and then I didn't cut enough. Yeah, let me show you. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was fancy. Can you do it to mine all the way across? Ching. Um, and you know, really, you could even just take that little ring, that little flowery part off the top and um, save that and chop it, put it in a salad or something later. Now, we're gonna do the same thing to the other end. Just cut that little, ready, simultaneous. One, then we group it, oh, I was gonna have us do it, this. get your pepper out. Go across. One, two, three. I was gonna have us do it like synchronized <laughs> swimming. <laughs> so we can just pretend like we're cooking in your kitchen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with an audience. That's what we are doing in my kitchen. <laughs> okay. Kitchen. But we, okay. And then we, yeah. <gasps> I know, it's science. We don't do it to me. <laughs> I cracked yours. Cracked mine. No, I didn't mean to oh. do it again. I meant open it. <laughs> You're out of control. I should have never shown you that. Do you ever have sweet tea? No. I've never had sweet tea. What? What? No, I've never had sweet tea. That's like a swear word, isn't it? Cheers. It's like syrup. I didn't do that to your hot tea. I'm really sorry. Don't you appreciate? Yes, I appreciate the glasses. No, not the glasses. <laughs> she is just so naughty. I sound a little bit like I'm Australian. Yeah. I'm like an Englishman in the outback. That's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. We have so many people think we're Australian. Really? It's because we don't know. We're all I think We're all rednecks. I think we're Australian to be offended. We're rednecks. That's it. And that's <laughs> Yeah. And so I would encourage women not to be afraid of a pressure no, cooker. No, not to be afraid. But you just have to tend it. You can't just go off and, and do your fingernails. And there's some lessons to, okay, did you hear what she just said? You just have to tend it and you can't go off and do your fingernails? I owned a pressure cooker. <laughs> Dude, there's still marks on I know, it. okay, so I owned a pressure cooker, y'all. And what happened was I left it. My store is just down the street and I thought, well, I'm just gonna let this cook for a few minutes and I'm gonna run to Unimaze. Yeah. And I got down there and I got busy. And y'all, it is by God's grace that 
my house didn't burn <laughs> down. Do you remember that? That's true. I, it smelled like that for months. It smelled like burned meat for <laughs> months. Like we almost called a restoration company to come and air out our furniture yeah. because it was terrible. Yeah. And it almost like burned this. Like we had like soot marks. That's why she but, was laughing. But so that's not the norm. I, that's, that's not a fail. the norm. Most people don't leave town <laughs> when they have a pressure cooker on or go visit a long time. <laughs> and I'm just gonna flip it over and see that nice dark brown. That was crispy. Are you throwing cauliflower? <laughs> Can't take her anywhere. <laughs> Can't I'm sorry. Grief. No, really. I'm I trying made this. to behave here. <laughs> I made that last night for supper. And it there was goes everywhere. There's cauliflower everywhere. <laughs> so look, I'm gonna pretend like I'm the professional, and she's gonna be the, the messy one. Oh, Can you're good. I go get my olives. Yes. Okay. So in this salad, this little salad that we're making, it's a half of a head of cauliflower, chopped and thrown around the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and then, if they weren't looking, I would reclaim those that are on the floor. I know, but we're on TV, so we can't pick those okay. up. Somebody would email us and That's tell right. us to stop. That's right. Candy, sponsored by Mars.